There, there are many objects that are kind of surprisingly familiar. We may not have seen them in a long time, but they're landmarks in material culture in the U.S. Well, the exhibit really covers a wide uh, uh, swath of territory in terms of art, design, uh, popular culture, and material culture. And it really tries to tell how uh, African-American designers work to create images for commerce and manufacturing and the media in a center of all these things, which was Chicago in the 20th century. One of the things that makes this so important is that these designers were renovating the image, uh, decades of imagery that was denigrating and insulting to African Americans. It was the most beautiful time to be a creative person in Chicago for a black American than anywhere else, I think, in, in the country. Okay, I'm Robert Page of Robert Page Designs, and I'm a hand painter of textiles. Rocks. My uh, hallmark would probably be color and the fluidity of my designs and the sort of liquid quality to them, you know, but it's basically a, it comes out of a geometric concept. In the Dacker Bar collection that I did at Sears uh, was sold in all the, all the Sears stores for a number of years, but you know how designs are after collection, then they want you to do another collection, and I'm really not geared that way. I don't think about the idea of constantly trying to pull designs out of the air. You know, people talk about my colors, and they're so bright and so vivid. But I say, you don't have a problem going out and looking at a bunch of wildflowers. God created nature to make you aware of beauty. You know, in cities like Chicago, like now, in this inclement weather, you need that, that, that beauty. You know, it's kind of like going to a supermarket. Beauty is a, is a public service. It should be everywhere. You know, it should not only be in the museum or downtown, it should be everywhere. Everybody should be able to experience beauty.